Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Monday. Welcome back. I hope you had a good weekend. And if you are celebrating, happy Halloween. Uh, today actually is October 31st. Um, and I have my I have my home fragrance empties to share today. Um, in honor of it being Halloween, I bring you this video with absolutely atrocious lighting because it's really dark and dreary and rainy today, which I love. Um, but yeah, it does make the lighting kind of rough. So I just have the ring light on like full blast right now. Um, this room did not come with overhead lighting. <laughs> I think they just skipped that part when they built this house so yeah we're just we're using the ring light you guys there are so many empties i am gonna have to be very brief with any updates if i have them um i'm just gonna show you guys a little preview yeah this thing is it, she's overflowing this month so um i'm gonna try to be as efficient as possible and just dive right into it. Before I do, let me just make a couple of notes that I think might be useful if you have a question. In the description box below this video, I'm going to link a Candle Clock 101 and a Candle Lamp 101 video. Those will explain those two concepts to you. Um, so if you if you don't know what a candle clock is, just go watch that video. Um, I made that video for people to reference if they're like, I don't know what this broad's talking about. So yeah, that information is down there. I will also link my favorite candle lamp as well as my favorite candle crock uh, in the description below as well. And then I will put links where you can buy all of the stuff that is in my empties provided that it's not a like discontinued fragrance. So plethora of information in the description box below this video. Um, and let's get started. So a lot of these candles that you're going to see still have wax in them. And this is why, uh, you should go watch my candle crock 101 video because that explains why these are finished, <laughs> except they probably might not look to those of you that are not familiar with the idea of a candle crock. So, um, because I do these reviews here on my channel, uh, I certainly go through, I purchase and I go through a lot of candles. After I review a candle, I put it in a crock to be able to finish its life out. And then I light the new candle that is next on the chopping block to be reviewed. So um, you're gonna see a lot of these candles with wax still in them, except there's no fragrance left in the wax. I use the fragrance part. I'm left with scentless wax. So anyway, go watch the videos, it'll explain it. But those of you that are not new here, you know of my love of the candle crocks. I have three that I actively use pretty much on a weekly basis, and I think they're fantastic. Anyway, let's keep going. Uh, Kringle Amber Wood, this was a release for the fall this year. Ooh, I can't really smell much in this one at all, but I do remember really enjoying this one. I had this in my master bedroom. I loved it as a master bedroom scent. Delicious, burned. Any of the Kringle Soy candles that I'm gonna show you, I can just tell you the burn is mwah, absolute perfection. Their soy formula is the best, the very best. Also, my eyes are watering today, so if you see a tear running down, it's not because I'm sad. It's because of my freaking eyeballs. <laughs> just every once in a while, like they just water and it drives me nuts. All right, keep going. Velo. So Velo was also new for uh, fall this year from Kringle. And um, I didn't like this one on cold sniff. I like this so much better when it was burning. It's very perfumey though. It's sort of a nice unisex perfume type of fragrance. Really actually enjoyed this one. Not enough to probably repurchase it for myself. I just got, um, you know, I usually buy most of the releases that Kringle comes out with to be able to review. And this was one where when I looked at the notes, I was like, eh, I don't know, but I should probably just get it and review it anyway. I'm glad I did because it was enjoyable. And um, I had this, I think, upst I actually had it in this room here. And I really enjoyed it. Every time I walked into this room, after I put it into the crock, I was like, this is a great scent. I don't know, just, if you're interested, it's a great scent. <laughs> All right, Spice Apple Crumb from Homeworks. This is now, um, if you are not aware, this is back on homeworks.shop. However, the label is, 
I don't think the label is great. This is a fantastic label. I don't know why he did away with this label. Homeworks seems to be playing with different styles of labels. This new one has like a small picture on the top and then it has like a white band underneath it. It's not a full wrap around and it, ju it just looks cheaper to me, I guess. I don't know, but the fragrance is great. So if you're interested in trying this one, the notes, it's basically, if you remember the apple crumble, or yeah, I think it was apple crumble from Bath and Body Works back in the day, this smells exactly like that. It's fabulous. Just get it. It's fabulous. <laughs> anyway, I do have a discount code with Homeworks. I'll put that information down below. I also have a discount code with Kringle, just so you guys know, those are both affiliate discount codes. So um, anyway, the Kringle will save you 15% off of pretty much any purchase. There's no like limit. Although with some sales, if the sale is really good, you can't combine, but always worth a try. And then with Homeworks, you have to spend $40 or more and then a 10% discount kicks in. So anyway, I love this. It's delicious. Let's keep going. Spiced Cranberry Toffee from Bath & Body Works. Freaking loved it. And look, this one burned all the way down. Oh, this smells so good. This better come back. It's so good. Um, cranberry Pumpkin. Ooh, who remembers this from 2015? Ooh, she's an oldie but a goodie this one was amazing um it it did go into the candle crock for a little while i just it's it's a mess don't look at it but i love it i think i have one more backup or was that the last one i think i have one more why did they never come back out with that one bath and body works brings back the stuff that is probably super generic and liked by the masses but at the same time it's like they also have this cult following right of people who will buy in bulk their favorite fragrances and i'm sure it, it has to be that the people who are the most loyal to bath and body works are sort of the i guess biggest biggest cash cows for bath and body works i don't know just based off of what i see on instagram in terms of people still buying in bulk like on candle day and stuff like it has to be the loyal customers that bring them the bulk of the candle income, right? I don't know. What are your guys' theory on that? I, the candle community is huge. The way home fragrance has exploded over the last several years honestly blows my mind. Um, there are so many people that are now like reviewing candles on Instagram and TikTok and YouTube. Whereas like before it was kind of like a little bit more of like a novelty, um, but it just has exploded in recent years. I'm a big fan because I don't know, I love the smells, but anyway. Okay, Hometown Sugar Cookies. Uh, not a great performer. It did, it did okay in the crock, but I wouldn't purchase it again. Not that it matters because it's sold out. All right, Snickerdoodle, finished Snickerdoodle. I got a little bit of a, it looks like, it looks like a tiny bit of sooting. Like there's a little, I can't tell if that's a scorch mark or soot because it's not consistent. Like there's another one over here. I'm tempted to say maybe that's like a scorch mark, but I don't know. When I see sooting from Homeworks candles, it's usually like more uniform. But when I see things like that, it makes me think scorch somehow, which would be interesting because I kept these wicks. Well, actually I didn't have to trim at all. They were kind of self trimming, but Anyway, I really like this scent, but I just, I wish it was stronger. This is kind of the complaint of the year with Homeworks this year, right? Is that the fragrances really are not as strong as they used to be. And I really hope that this is something that they address um, in the future, because I think that's why most of us fell in love with Homeworks in the first place. First, it was like slack in fragrances, which he does have an incredible nose for creating especially gourmand fragrances um but it just seems like the overall strength and throw has decreased fairly significantly and most of us love the homeworks candles at the beginning because they really were house filling they were like amazing i still wholeheartedly support the brand because i just think that harry comes up with some of the most amazing blends and i still have very good luck with the vast majority of my candles, but I do agree that they smell a lot lighter than what they used to, which is, I mean, that's definitely a bummer, but I really, really want them to figure this out because 
I think that Homeworks is, it can really be one of the best brands out there. Like if they just get this whole strength and throw and for some people, for some people really struggle with the wicks. I don't struggle with the wicks at all, but get those issues under control and that brand will just explode. Anyway, I don't know, it's tirade. Um, gotta be faster. This is, okay, we're gonna start doing speed round, guys. Iced sugar cookie, just reviewed this, really love it. Um, delicious, recommend. Um, golden Path, I can still get a whiff of the kind of perfumey fragrance from this one from Kringle. This is from their Country Candle line. So Golden Path, and honestly, a lot of these fragrances from Kringle for this fall, someone else mentioned this here ago from another tirade, they're quite perfumey, either like a masculine or unisex or feminine perfumey type of vibe to them. And um, I found that interesting. Um, I don't think that I loved that about the Kringle fall releases. I really prefer more gourmand or like fall fruit type fragrances, but they went a completely different direction. So kind of interesting. I'll be curious to see what they do next fall. Okay, Autumn from Bath & Body Works. Um, I had a little bit of a struggle with one of the wicks going way over to the side, so I wasn't allowed to light that wick. Remember your wick safe people, but I love the fragrance autumn. It's absolutely perfect. Um, spooky Vanilla from um, Homeworks. This was nice, except again, quite light. This was one of the Halloween fragrances. Um, the Perfect Autumn. Okay, I love the Perfect Autumn. This is fantastic. Although right now I have the Perfect Autumn hand soap in my master bathroom. And I have to say, I don't like the hand soap at all. I don't think it smells like the fragrance in the candle at all if you have the same experience let me know it's kind of driving me crazy right now but i love that scent it's delicious the five star texas pecan pie this one was okay again another one that went into the crock um i prefer i prefer this this is my pecan of choice if you can get your hands on praline pecan from homeworks the best smells like gorgeous like candy candied pecans or yeah like a pecan like the pecan pie filling can't eat pecans, pecans, whatever you call them. I think they're gross. Or pecan pie. I think pecan pie is gross. I know that's a very like un-American thing for me to say, but also I'm not originally from this country, so I did not grow up eating that gelatinous goo with nuts in it until I moved here when I was 10. And then I was like, wow, what is that? <laughs> not here for it. Um, Harvest Leaves, uh, this is a staple for me every year from Homeworks. Um, Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Orange Clove, love it. Have another backup for closer to the holidays. Leaves from Bath and Body Works, I love leaves. I usually get one every fall. Delightful, uh, this one smells like nothing because once again, it went into a candle bra. Um, Bourbon Pecan Pie, okay, this one, um, I didn't love this one. I just, I don't know. I think the praline pecan is the best pecan from Homeworks. This one was okay. I don't know. I just love that praline pecan so much. I might be a little biased. Okay, here we have Autumn Reflections from Country Candle. I don't even remember what this smells like. This has absolutely zero scent left in it. So check out my review. <laughs> Okay, Berry Pumpkin Waffles. Okay, this one finally came back from Homeworks. This is my, one of my OGs in this beautiful amber glass, uh, the hobnail design. This one came back this year. It's available on homeworks.shop. Delightful. I will say the new version, it's lighter, but I mean, yeah. Cause this one was from 2020. Blueberry, pumpkin, cinnamon, nutmeg, and vanilla bean. It just, it kind of smells like uh, Captain Crunch berries. It's really good. If you don't like Captain Crunch berries, I wouldn't get that. But anyway, that's what I think it smells like. Uh, rail, rail Bridge. Rail Ridge. Rail Bridge. Hmm. Yeah, this is another one of those really cologne fall scents from Kringle this year. Eh. Take it or leave it. Pecan, uh, pumpkin pecan waffles. This is also a staple for me once again. Spent a few days in a crock before being retired to the empties pile. 
Oh, I love this one. Toasted vanilla pumpkin. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Absolutely love this one. Um, I believe this was originally called amaretto pumpkin, and then it came back. Delicious. Uh, America's favorite pumpkin snickerdoodle. This didn't smell like pumpkin snickerdoodle to me. It just smelled like the Bath and Body Works snickerdoodle scent that they come out with during like the holiday time. So yeah. Anyway, this one had an interesting situation where I did end up putting it in the crock. And then I think Stella was kind of, Stella was swirling it around afterwards on the kitchen counter. You can see one of those little scorch marks over there with that bad boy as well. But she was swirling this around and like wanted to coat the wicks. She did a good job. They are coated. Um, if your kids are bored. Well, I wouldn't recommend that because it can get quite messy if they spill the wax. But I don't know. She has this thing that she's done for a while with candles when I take them out of the crock. Um, the wax is not super hot when it comes out of the crock. I mean, it's warm, but um, not super hot. And so she just kind of likes swirling it around. I don't know. It makes her happy. I'm there when she does it. So... Harvest Bake Shop. I love Harvest Bake Shop. This is fantastic. And this was quite a good performer for me. So would recommend. Absolutely. Pumpkin carving. Okay, my pumpkin carving got so hot that it was like melting the eyeballs. Can you see that? It melt. Where'd it go? Oh. It melted the eyeball off of one of my pumpkins. So anyway, after that, started blistering up, I was like, I think I'm gonna blow this out and put it in my crock. Glad I did. I think that one was burning way too hot. <laughs> if it's melting the label off, then that candle needs to get retired in my eyes. Okay, apple cider donut. This was one candle from Kringle that I purchased. I think it was actually last fall. Never burned it. So this year I just decided to put the whole entire thing into one of my candle crocks. I don't burn these older three wick soy blends from Kringle only because they get quite sooty and Kringle has now decided to put their soy formula into these three wicks starting with the holiday collection so speaking of the holiday candles from Kringle I have the country candles from the new holiday line I think they're actually supposed to be delivered today I hope so if that's the case then I will share another holiday candle haul with you guys probably on Thursday. But anyway, this uh, this did great in the crock. But again, I don't burn these uh, that are in the soy blend formula because they get a little sooty. This is crystallized ginger and vanilla bean from um, Nest. I ordered uh, this the full size. I haven't burned it yet. I'm going to be lighting that up probably this week and reviewing it for you. This is one of the newer holiday scents from nest this year so it's coming at some point are we down to yes okay butter croissants from country candle this man i love this in my candle crock i had it downstairs in the laundry room so which is kind of close to my kitchen so every morning when i was waking up because i leave my crocks on 24 7 um every morning when i was waking up i was like oh there's fresh baked bread no there wasn't there was butter croissants Okay, you guys, there's so many melts. I This is going to be power through. Some of these Scentsy fragrances are from Bring Back My Bars, in which case I'm just going to say the name. But if it's new, then I'll give you some thoughts. Sandalwood Tangerine, you can't get this. It's in my club. Cozy Vanilla and Pumpkin, I'm not sure if this is sold out, but this is amazing. Oof, if you love a delicious pumpkin, you got to try this one. It's heavenly. Apple cider cake from Country Candle, my favorite. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze, hold on. Sorry about that, little uh, little sneeze attack there. The apple cider cake scent from Country Candle is my favorite fragrance from that line, like ever, if you've never tried it. So good. It's so good when it's warming. On cold sniff, it's just kinda like, mm, okay. Burn it or melt it, just trust me, so good. Frosted cranberry, okay. So this is also from Kringle. This, I don't like this. This is like cranberries with powdered sugar. I, something about this rubs me the wrong way. Um, yeah, don't love that, would not recommend. Will not be buying the candle. <laughs> Cranberry orange cider, fabulous. Get it, it's so good. Uh, Mandarin Moon, bring back my bar. 
maple uh, rum cake. This actually came, did this come in? Yeah, this was in that fall collection that also had the warm vanilla and pumpkin in it. So this is like the harvest collection. I think it's still available. Don't quote me on that. Um, I'll put uh, my favorite Scentsy lady, Lisa's information in the description box below this video. But if you have a Scentsy consultant, check with them. They'll be able to let you know. But maple rum cake, I think this is nice. This is like a maple scent done right. It's not super cloying maple. I just, maple is tough for me. I think it can be enjoyable, but it needs to not be overpowering. Uh, pumpkin roll, delicious. First day of fall, very earthy, but a really nice change of pace if you've never tried this. I don't know, most of us are probably gonna be skipping to holiday candles, right? Let me know, what do you do in November? Do you transition over to holiday scents or are you still doing fall? I'm mostly doing holiday because <laughs> I'm gonna start decorating for the holidays within the next week. I know, but I film it for my channel, so that's my excuse. What's yours? <laughs> If you decorate early, how do you justify it to your friends and family when they come over and they're like, wow, look at your tree on November 11th. <laughs> Stroop Waffle Delight, fabulous in my club. Um, warm pumpkin drizzle, I did not love this. This is the scent of the month. Yeah, I don't love this. It's a little too, is it too rich for me? It just, it smells too heavy on like the, like dark sugars. Like I think I get a lot of molasses out of this and I'm not a fan of molasses since. Apple butter frosting. Sensi, what are you doing with this not being currently available? It's silly. Hocus Pocus, perfectly wicked. Hey, I like this so much that I put it into my club. This smells like the uh, Lost Cherry from Tom Ford. If you like that perfume, you should check out this bar if you can still get it. I think it might be sold out. I feel like it might be sold out. Um, Sugar Pumpkins from Kringle, love it. Another Perfectly Wicked. Graham Cracker Crunch, delicious. It's in the current catalog, get it, it's so good. It's Honey Made Graham Crackers with a schmear of crunchy peanut butter. Uh, banana Nut Bread Bin Bread Bar, another apple cider cake. I was changing my wax like it was going out of style. Um, this month, Almond Croissant in my club, you can't get it. Apples and Oats in my club, you can't get it. I just was craving like different scents almost every single day and so I was just changing my wax because well I bought a lot of it so I might as well enjoy it right uh cozy vanilla and pumpkin again another apple cider cake another sugared pumpkins happy birthday it's my one of my favorite scents from uh Scentsy and it's in my club I think they just need to put it into a brick that they sell year round apples and oats again Autumn Road Trip, oh this one's good you guys. If you've never tried at Autumn Road Trip, it smells a lot like Autumn from Bath & Body Works. Delicious. Um, morning Cartoons, which does not smell like a cereal from Kringle. That was a new scent for the fall by the way. Another warm pumpkin drizzle. A Blackberry Spice, okay these Blackberry or like black raspberry scents that came out this fall are quite perfumey. What is it with these fragrance companies. I feel like a lot of the fragrances this year from Kringle, but also some of the ones from <sighs> Scentsy, sorry, brain fart, um, were really quite perfumey this year. I don't know. I really just wanted this to smell like blackberry spice, but it smells like a blackberry perfume. I like Vermont. Scary good. This is in the current catalog still. Get it. It's delicious. Autumn road trip. Another happy birthday. Cinnamon buttercream. This is such a basic. It's like vanilla bean buttercream with just a dash of cinnamon in it. Uh, it's so good. It's a great blender. We're almost done, you guys. Another apple cider cake. By the way, these um, Kringle wax melts, you get six. I get like one day's worth of use out of these. Now, with my Scentsy, I was probably being kind of wasteful because I can get several days out of two Scentsy cubes in my warmers. I have a lot of warmers in my house too, you guys. I think I have like 12 and that's just the big warmers. That's not counting like the plug-in ones, like the wall plug-in ones that I have in the kitchen, the laundry room, the downstairs bathroom. Quite frankly, in uh, every bathroom has one of those smaller ones as well. So yeah, 
That alone allows me to go through a lot of wax. Anyway, this was Blonde Woods and Moonflower. This is going by my bar. Another apple cider cake. Another almond croissant. A candied apples, and last but not least, sips of cider. This is the last one. I really like sips of cider. You should, you should give this one the old college try. This is very unique. It's kind of a tangy take on a cider. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, that's it. Those are the empties for the month of October. Um, November looks to be just as prolific. There are, you're gonna see a lot of holiday candles at the end of November. Hopefully the early holiday candle reviews help you decide what you want to pick up for your holiday burning season. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Be sure to check out the description box below this video. Please subscribe if you're new. Thank you for your patience with this long ass video. And if you made it to the end, I give you the biggest high five and I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.